hey my loves welcome back to our channel we are here with another one i am so glad to be meeting you guys in the new year i was so laid out and just jacked up after christmas so i'm glad to be back with you guys and we are here with a two for one so y'all know i be acting fast or whatever so i pulled one of these out the pack already okay i was being fast don't judge me okay judge my mama so we are coming here with Audrina, okay? The Melted Hairline Collection by Outre. And we have her in DR2 Cinnamon Spice and Seraphine, honey, okay? dr4 golden honey i'm so excited to get into these two so let me show you first the i'm gonna just show you the cap construction of one i don't think i need to show you the cap construction of both because they're both from the same collection they should be the same okay so and this gives us some time to chit chat or whatever so this is audrina i have her again in dr2 cinnamon spice i'm really excited about this one and this has two combs in the front okay can you guys see that yeah one comb in the back it has adjustable straps and the band okay y'all know we love this because it makes sure that we lace things things so i'm just going to throw her on and see what she's working with in the meantime let me just chop the lace off while i'm doing that how y'all been okay but still tell me how your holidays were i was so laid out joe went and got himself sick came home lay all up under me on my chest kissing me in my mouth okay and got me sick too y'all i'm just done and you know i was rolling my eyes at him the whole time like oh you sick because you know how men are y'all know how men are when they sick they be doing all that whining and stuff but my baby was really going through it because as soon as i got sick y'all guess who was going through it child body was on fire so the whole time I'm denying that we got, you know, the vid. <laughs> the whole time I'm denying it, denying it, denying it. And he like, he can't taste nothing. He can't do this. I said, oh, you can't taste food? Literally, that's how I was, y'all. You can't taste food now? You can't have a drink? Oh, okay, cool. The following day, I get myself sick. You know how I know what I was? All right, y'all, let's see what she working with. So I chose to not, this is the unit, this is fantastic. This is the unit that does not need to be actually laid down. Like, and by actually laid down, I mean like, I don't feel like I have to glue her down is what I'm saying. Honestly, I wasn't sure about the wig at first because I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews about her. Now, she's going for just under $35 on most wig sites, which is super affordable because she's cute. And like I said, I've been hearing mixed reviews about her. Like, I haven't been hearing the greatest things, which is fascinating because Utre has not been playing with the kids this year or in 2020. Everybody else was playing. We had a panty and everything, but Utre was not playing. Utre was healthy. <laughs> oh, I love Y'all, I left Seraphine for last because I just assumed I would like her better. I'll knock my earring out. Good night. I feel like uh, Black Widow. What's that from? Who Black Widow from? So let's just go on ahead and, and fix her up in the front. Neil, let me get back to my story. So <laughs> here go Joe, getting sick or whatever, I get sick. Finally, a week later, I decide we find out we got the actual um, virus, which was annoying. And it was really, it was a lot. Like, it was intense. It was intense there for a week or so. But I really enjoyed what I noticed is that for a week, all me and my man did was like lay up under each other. And it was kind of nice. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just being and not really having, I didn't have to work. He didn't really have any work or whatever the case may be. So, it was nice just to, like, be around each other without any distractions. Because you know how that is. Life happens. And we're all just, like, going through and 
listen trying to figure that shit out <laughs> so like one day at a time so it was really nice especially because like y'all know joby in the streets so while we were asleep we came across while we were sleep while we were sick we came across a few of these bomb shows guys i'm just going to go through and this will just help me lay her down just a sweetie tinge just a tinge only because i'm gonna snatch her over through the other one but i wanted to give you guys a really good i want to give you all the full experience but we caught up on a lot of shows, one of which was, uh, I'm just talking, y'all, so I hope y'all don't mind. One of which was Ayanla. Do y'all watch Ayanla Fix My Life? I've been watching it or whatever. And Ayanla did an episode with um, the guy who was talking about, you know, I my wife don't got to worry about nothing. She, uh, my kids need to find a man who could do what I could do for them, when, 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 right? And it's, it's supposed to be like when going viral doesn't match your real life or something like that the name of the episode or something but it was a fantastic episode and i think i'm just going through and i just wanted to lay a little bit all right so i just wanted to run her on cool real quick just to give her a little bit of you know so we're not getting lace on the side, okay? Sometimes you, when you're doing this, guys, if you just go through with your free spray, hit your edges up just a little bit. I usually sometimes take the back of my brush. If you just take the back of your makeup brush and just once you spray, pinch her down a bit, you don't necessarily want to have if a glue wig today, right? That might not be the case, right? But you want to make sure that your lace doesn't pucker and pick up. Because then people can kind of see that in there. So we want to make sure that's not the case. So that's why I just went through with our guys to be and did that, right? Okay, so let's get back to Yana. So, <laughs> and Yana was fantastic. Like, fantastic. But she wasn't fantastic. The other doctor on it was fantastic. Did y'all watch? He was like a young man, a younger man. He was light-skinned. He was amazing. And he actually dealt with the son and the man, the, oh, the father. And the father, obviously, he was one of those guys who only thought that he had to provide. He didn't think that he had to be like a loving parent, which, I mean, is he West Indies? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's normal behavior don't y'all feel that way like ain't that how men be acting so i mean not men i think that parents sometimes act like that i don't think that that's something that's necessarily a man thing i think that women do it too you know what i mean my mom i think my mom was like that like my mom was loving and sweet but i don't know that but she was a provider first you know what i mean and it was like if we wanted like a like real affection and stuff like that, and this is being honest, we kind of got it from our dad. Like my dad was always the one, like, "Oh, honey, what do you need?" Da, 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 da. And he was a provider too, but he was just more of. I think we got more of that from him than we got from my mama. So I can see how that's like something that can be passed down, or if you don't know any better, that's how you show up in your home. You know what I mean? All right, guys, what y'all thinking? This took about 10 minutes to get together. But that's because I was running my mouth. What y'all think? It's a little thin in the back. I'm not a thousand percent on that. But I would be I would be lying if I said I didn't like this. I like so much about it. I like the hair color for sure. Let's up on that lace melted hairline. So yeah, so we're just, look at that guys. And I'm just gonna go through with my contour palette. And just hit this part up. Just so it could blend a little bit better. Y'all see that? <laughs> but that's because we don't feel like gluing her down. Like sometimes you just wanna hit the road, Jack. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? So she's all done. Hold on, let me. I want it to be a little bit flatter in the back. I'm just gonna use my Andy's straighten and comb and hit the back. Cause I can see on the side that she's a little humpy mumpy. But yeah, so I'm saying all that to say. Y'all need to watch Ayala because I thought that was one of the best episodes. And I feel like Ayala was coming through with, um, like she had people on there that wanted to be on there. And I thought that was kind of cool too. All right, what y'all think? Eat. Good night. I did not come here looking like this, okay? This was cute. All right, let's go on in here and get into the next look. Because I don't want to keep y'all too long, but I want y'all to get into her. Okay? And y'all for that minute, because that was a good episode. <laughs> but basically what I'm saying is, sometimes we meet people, and I think that you definitely got, I know I say this all the time, but you got to let like teach people how to treat you. Now, I am a proponent of you got to pay my bills. Like, you know what I mean? That's just the way I live my life. That ain't for everybody. Some people want to make sure that they hold down the finances, whatever the case may be. Ain't no shame in my game. I don't want to do that. I don't. And I tell people all the time, I, and I, and I uh, look a certain way, and I dress a certain way, and I do certain things because I don't want to do that. But I, this is a true story, and this is just tying this into this Ayala episode. Joe and I got this like message that our um, what was it? Our gas was going to be cut off, right? Before I get into next week, but that our gas was going to be cut off. And Jazz, his sister, was like texting me about it. Like, did y'all get this message? Like, they said they're gonna come and cut the gas off. Like, what? Like, did you pay it? Like, you know, all in a frenzy. And I'm like. Girl, I don't know what that goddamn bill look like. <laughs> like. But this is how much I trust my man. I knew that I didn't have nothing to worry about. Like, I absolutely, I absolutely knew that it was paid. See, all right. We had this one for a second. What's going on over here? What's this? See, this is the issue that people were having with this unit, guys. She telling me to take her off so we don't get a nasty taste in my mouth. Okay, so basically, if this is the wig versus, if this is Audrina versus Seraphine, Audrina ain't, she came out strong, but she finishing a little light, okay? She finishing a little light. So let me just go ahead and get what your phone while I tell you the story. All right, let's get on into DR4 Melted Hairline Seraphine. So first things first, this tangled a little bit. She didn't shed at all, but she does tangle a bit. She's super thick throughout, and I think that's the reason why she's tangling. So I'm just letting y'all know that now before we get into her. As we chit chat, okay? So let me take this one out. Um, basically what I'm getting at is that like, if none of your aunties tell you, this auntie gonna tell you, that you just gotta be like in a space where you let people know what you're willing to accept. And I think that's even for children, that you have to do that. And seeing how his kids had suffered, you know what I mean? Not having that kind of close relationship with their parent was kind of sad. But I love that he was into it, but his wife was too through with his ass. Too through. And I just was like, girl, I felt bad. Now again, this is DR4 Honey Blonde, excuse me, DR4 Golden Honey. And let's go on ahead and snatch her off and put her on. But I thought that it was a really good episode. I don't want to give too much away. I just want you guys to check it out. But are you guys dating? Like, what are you dating for? Like, what are you looking for? What kind of guys do you like? Like, y'all know I love girl time. Like, what's up? Because I like, I, I'm not going to lie. I like, um, I probably like men with money first. And then all the other qualities come after that. <laughs> but if you know, like, you know what I mean? That's just a personal thing. 
So this, it wasn't a lot of glue on here, just enough to hold it down. So I'm just gonna snatch her right off. So do you think like, or not even what kind of guys you are, what kind of people? Sometimes people like people and I'm with that too. So um, like I'm damn for the brand. I just want you guys to be in a loving relationships, like all of them, like your mama, your daddy, your granny, your man, your woman. Okay. I saved the blonde for last. She's a little yellower than I thought because only honestly, and this is keeping it honey because my man like blind hair, but this is, why is there so much lace on this? And I figured he would want to see me with blonde hair for Sunday dinners. What did y'all cook for dinner? I know I'm all over the place. Don't judge me. I have so many, I haven't been able to talk to you guys. So I have so many thoughts. What did you cook for dinner? What have you been watching? Did you watch Bridgerton like the rest of us hoes? Going in with our lace tent. I made um, oxtails for dinner. So, hopefully they come out good because you know oxtails take 111 hours, child. All right, guys, so, yeah, like, I just, I'm so happy to be back with you guys. Okay, so, Yana was one thing that kind of stuck out to me during this moment, okay, as well as, did you guys watch um, Bridgerton? That really, really, oh, okay, this is yellow, guys. That really, really stuck out to me because me and Joe kind of finished it like in like a week. <laughs> like it came out and we was done. <laughs> but I thought it was good. I just, you know, I'm a brown girl and you guys tell me how you feel about this. I'm kind of tired of seeing shows that don't got like dark skinned women in it. Like not to say that, you know, I love to see any brown sister in there but i'm like at the place where in 20 um whatever year it is uh we need to be having more representation this looks like that baby hair this is shiny what's up we try all right she's gonna take a little bit more work so let me look at the stock card already not sure about this now the lace looks great it fits well like it's snug and i love that but this color is yellow Woo. like yellow and we got to start making uh wigs this color that's just for sure i just want to go through Okay, that's better. But yeah, I'm at a place right now where I just want to see more representation. A friend of ours was saying how at this point she just doesn't want to watch anything that doesn't have black people in it. And not that Bridgerton didn't. It definitely was inclusive. I just felt like... And everybody's saying like, well, it's the times and maybe during that time they didn't have a lot of black people or whatever the case may be, right? Whatever the story y'all want to tell yourself, that's fine. I'm at the place where I just don't feel like it's a good excuse any longer to be like, oh, um, it wasn't no black people in Europe back then. You know what I mean? So we're not going to include them. To me, it's like, you know, y'all create anything else and y'all make shit up all the time. If y'all don't sprinkle some black people in there, some po Polynesians, some, you know what I mean, Indian girls, all that stuff like that. Like, ain't nobody trying to hear that mess. Like, I'm just over it. And that was honestly my only critique of it. I am kind of tired of the interracial narrative. And, and not the interracial narrative. I, if you know me, you know. I've lived a life. Not so much that, but the... I just didn't get their chemistry. Like, if I felt like they actually was into each other, then maybe I would have liked it better. But I just didn't feel it. Like, even when they were, like, you know, they fall in love and all that stuff, I just was like, huh. like, hey. Like, at least love, like, I want to feel it.
I'm just going through with my contour palette around the perimeter because I'm not gluing her down. I want to make sure that legs look seamless. And I'm just using the contour part of my contour. Look at that. You see what I mean? So I'm just using the contour part of my contour palette just to make sure that she looks a little bit more seamless. But yeah, that was another fun, like one of those great things that I saw this while I was off or whatever the case may be was Bridgerton. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's very good. Right now we're watching a crown, which is full of white folk. And quite frankly, after the events of the other day, I ain't gonna say I'm tired of white people. I don't wanna say that, but I wanna say that um, y'all really need to talk to your ancestors. Cause y'all behave so badly that like <laughs> y'all really need a reckoning and I, that's all i'm gonna say but i ain't tired of y'all i just want y'all to get your ass like i need y'all need a little beating like a little pop you know what i mean so people know that like we tired of the antics enough is enough i don't know how i feel about this i'm a little bit impartial i know i got so many i'm just going through this with you guys but this is good because then you guys just get to see how long these things take to actually put on. Oh, well, that's cute. When you throw her on back. Or maybe she's just supposed to be more effortless. All right. She does tangle, but again, these units are super affordable. So you're not, I mean, like, you got it. You get what you pay for, right? Right, Seraphine is going for just under $40 on most wig sites, which to me is actually really good pricing. I'm going to turn around for you guys. She does tangle. I don't my finger in here quite a few times she's super long but she's sexy which is cool i do i like the unit right the color of this particular unit i'm not really a fan of but that's not the colors fault. it might be me i'm a brown girl so everything ain't for everybody and i just think that this is a little too yellow for me this is a little too yellow but it's nice, I guess. But she needs to be more effortless at the top. Because otherwise she look a little bit wiggy in a manner that I don't think is um, flattering. But let me... Alright guys. But I want y'all to bust down tell me what y'all watching. I don't know how I feel about this one. That's so fascinating. I just knew I was going to love this. I wonder how you girls have been feeling about her. How y'all feel about this? I'm kind of like having mixed feelings about her. I really don't know. Hmm. She all right. I mean, I'm not like, it's funny because I'm not really into this. Okay, so I'm not completely sold on Seraphine. And the only reason why I'm not completely sold on Seraphine is because she tangles or whatever the case may be. And in 2021, that's it, that's all. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. However, the curl pattern on this is fire. Y'all know I love a cute little fair faucet moment. Anything where my hair is pulled back, I love or whatever the case may be. But I see like that flip back look, not pull back, but I love a good wavy unit. I'm just not all the way into the tangles and she's looking a little bit synthetical a little bit synthetical but i'm not upset because the unit isn't hella expensive it's under 40 dollars on most mix size so for me it's like it's one of it it's not as good as the other um outre collection which i cannot remember the name of but it's not as great as that one but that's okay because they need levels right everybody needs to have a price point certain people prefer this price point over others and i think that that makes sense i do i just prefer if we're talking about the versus battle for me between audrina and this one seraphine if i didn't chit chat and gave you all of my business yeah i would go with audrina and i'm surprised to say that but also it could be the color that i'm just 
impartial about but what do you guys think tell me what you guys think do you have either of these units i don't i want y'all to be talking to me i want y'all to be all in the comments because we got stuff to talk about we in a whole brand new year and yana done came out she quit it you know what i mean like bridgerton was coming it's coming back but eight seasons because it was that made me say i'm good or whatever but you know what I'm just tired of seeing certain, like, I'm, Bridgerton gonna have to step their cookies up, though. They gonna stay any fucking longer, okay? It was great. It was great. But it needs some girls like this. And, 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 and we need as many girls like this as we got like this. As many girls like this. As many girls like this as we got like this. If you figure out what I want to do, or met, you know what I mean? Whatever the case may be, I want to see some brand people, okay? But, um... I just like inclusion in 2021 and i hope you guys are okay i hope you are safe please be safe that uh the panty ain't no joke okay we are literally still in it and we're trying to get out of it and the best way to do it is to be safe and social distance and because when you sick that it's no joke okay it's no joke i just want you guys to be safe watch some good tv and let me know joe and i will be back with uh married at first sight reviews real soon so i hope you guys are ready for that because we are we're super excited um and i hope to see you guys later let me know what you guys are thinking this is itching the back of my neck but let me know what you guys are thinking and i'll see you beautiful mugs later bye